I'm seeing a lot of our new players from the free weekend very frustrated with the cloak chips in general and the uh, the ghost in particular. And I noticed I had a very good match the other day, despite playing honestly very mediocre. So I want to take a moment and we're going to break down the game and see what I was doing, why I was doing it, and what the enemy was doing correctly to counter it and incorrectly that led to me having such a good match, despite, again, rather mediocre gameplay. So we're going to take an in-depth analysis of the whole match. I'm going to pause the video. We're going to talk about all the critical moments. And hopefully at the end of this, you'll have a better idea what to do when you're fighting cloak chips and more importantly, what not to do. So we're jumping in here to Alpha, and you'll notice on the first one, I haven't seen any jumping flashes, which is always nice. It means I can get behind this mine here, deny the enemy a little bit of intel. So long as they don't know what I am, it gives me a better chance of capitalizing on any mistakes they make. Now that's three enemy ships, Protector, Reaper, and Gladiator. And I'm still by myself, which really isn't a good situation for a ghost, especially early game. Those ships in particular have really good rates of fire, so if they get on me, there's not much I can do to escape. I'm going to kind of nose up and show off that, yeah, there's a ghost here, and see if I can buy myself some time for reinforcements. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cloak, I'm going to move behind cover because I don't want to expend too much energy while cloaked. And then I'm going to see if I can either wait for a teammate to jump or for the enemy to make a mistake or for uh, them to move into a position where I could just get some harassing fire. So here I'm moving in. Got that cloak up. I'm going to nose over. I'm debating whether or not to drop the cloak, but I want to get this peek on them. Yeah, you notice he's just trying to get me out of cloak. So they're not really giving me much to work with here. Now, I'm going to throw a couple of shots at the nose of that gladiator there. Just try and stall them, maybe. See if I can get the Reaper to chase after me. If I can get them separated, in particular out of line of sight and out of range of that protector, I can get on the Reaper and kill him. So I'm hoping it's the Reaper who's going to make a mistake and try and chase me. So just line up the shot, quick poke out, and then duck behind cover. Just fishing for that Reaper. Come on, Reaper. Take the bait. Take it. Let's see. There. There's my opening. They push too far forward to that protector. And remember, gladiators and reapers both have forward-facing fire arcs. So if they continue pressing on to that mine, which looks like they're going to do, they're going to leave that protector alone and behind their guns outside of their range to defend him. And to be clear, this is the mistake of the protector. He should not have gotten that far behind. I understand he's wanting to stay at a safe distance. Really isn't a good idea with a ghost in the lane. So I'm going to just slide up here. I'm debating about using Blink, but it's looked like he's going to come right to me. And we're going to see if he'll stay still. Yep, he's going to try and use this as cover. Oh, and he jumps. Bad idea, especially with a ghost in the lane. So we had two people jump into the lane, and it looks like it's both friendlies by the map. Let's see, that's the Watchman and our Protector. Now, it might look like it's a two-on-two -two fight and I should come back and help, but really, that Gladiator is well outside of effective range. So in reality, it's a two-on-one. Our Watchmen and our Protector are going to take down that Reaper, no problem. The Protector's going to jump out the end of the fight, and it's going to leave the Watchmen stranded and alone. So I'm going to go ahead and cap this mine. Remember, guys, early game captures are the most important. 
far more than kills. He looks like he's finally realized he's not even close to being in range. But I need to get over there before he can close range. Gladiators have a ton of health. I'm not sure the Watchman's going to be able to... Oh, looks like our Pioneer showed up, too. That's... Yeah, that's going to be enough. He's not even really hurting our Watchman. And down goes the Gladiator. Who Really, he should have just jumped out after capping that last mine. There was no real reason to stay there. And that's the Protector back. So, four people in this lane. So I'm going to pop over here, we're going to capture the mine, and then go help out Beta. Hopefully... Oh, there's one. Yeah, the end run may sound like a good idea, but really not that good. So I'm going to jump out, and we're going to go head over to Beta. So you notice I'm jumping into that far jump point on beta, not the close one by the mine. It's because I want to give myself a little bit of distance and see if I can slot in behind somebody. And they got a protector. So I'm going to try and get fairly close. I really don't want that hunter to jump on me before I've got room to engage the protector. Now I'm going to start rotating to match his forward direction. It's going to help me when I finish the blink. I'm going to come out in the direction he's traveling. That's going to let me line up a shot a lot easier. Now, this is kind of an important trick. If you want to continue moving with the target, if you're not sure you're going to kill it in one hit, but you're not afraid of their damage, rotate so that you are moving in the direction they're traveling. You can slide in with your strafe to get in close enough to get the blink, but try and be facing that direction and have that momentum. It's going to let you keep with them. On the other hand, if you're wanting more of a hit and run, be traveling opposite direction with them. You're going to blink to them, snap off a quick volley, hit them with rockets, and then travel the other way. Now you'll notice I'm going to blink in, slot on him. Really, this is his mistake. He really does not, he does not evade. He doesn't pop defensive field. He just kind of takes the whole volley. Protectors, never stop moving. In particular, if you hear somebody blink to target on you. Even now, he's only using two, three directions of movement. He's not giving it all. And now we've turned this from a two-on-two -two to a two-on-one. There, that was a really good timed blink by the hunter. He was able to dodge the entire ambush volley just because he knew the timing on ambush. He was ready to go. So we're going to move up, capture this mine here. 16 seconds. Now I'm going to jump to that more distant jump point. This is going to let me move into position closer where, yep, see where they're going to come in at. I'm looking for the protector. See, right there. Now you don't want to get too close, you don't want to come out right on top of the jump point. You, Hunter in particular on their team, if he knows I'm there, he's just going to pop detect and there's not much I can do. I really don't have the energy to continue cloaking, don't even have enough to ambush, so I'm trying to take shots at him while getting behind cover. Yep, and now I'm behind cover from the majority of his team, he's alone and isolated. Yep. Down goes the protector. Reaper, phenomenal damage. Next highest damage, well, the highest damage on his team, so he's the priority. And I'm staying above even after the blink, you'll notice, because I want to stay out of both his and the hunter's fire arc. The hunter's lower than him. See, it totally dumped several of those rockets. Get behind cover, get out of that gladiator's line of sight. Now, the hunter is going to be a lot softer target than a phalanx gladiator, so we're just going to prioritize the hunter. He blinks, and 
not seeing him. He's got to be nearby, but I can't blink to him, which means he's out of 75k. There he is. Uh, we lose the protector. And get the blink. Put another ambush volley into his face. I notice I'm trying to stay below or above. I'm just trying to donk as many of his shots and stay out of that firing arc. I'm going to finish him off. Now we just have this gladiator to deal with. Notice they have an enemy ship trying to take our beta forward base here. We've got time. I'm going to put some ambush volley into that broken armor. There he goes. Make the mistake jumping up too early taking way too much damage. One of the problems with using blink to targets is it puts you inside the death explosion of your enemy ship. I take more damage from that than any other source. Now we're just kind of tripping over ourselves here to get the kill. Uh, Venture blocked my line of sight, then I blocked the Watchman's line of sight. Finally he goes down. Never really activated Phalanx. Would have been a decent time at least. Yes, he would have gone down, but the extra damage reduction would have made it take a lot longer. They might have actually been able to cap that forward base in Alpha a bit sooner. In particular, before anybody can jump out to contest it. So, I'm going to get there just before they finish capturing it. That means hopefully I can catch somebody with an ambush while they jump. There's the Reaper. Now I don't want him to block the shots with Shroud, so I'm going to slide around on his back, but keep my eyes peeled for the jump. Come on. Anytime now. There, he's moving. He's about to jump. And there he goes. Really, he should have kept moving. Definitely should have popped the shroud. He might have blocked a couple of the shots. May not have died, but I mean, a chance to live is better than just dying. Oop, get the upgrade. Get the up. Uh, too slow. Remember, prioritize that side armor. Now would be a great time for him to pop phalanx, or at least slide into our base. But no. Nope. He's just rubbernecking, trying to get as many shots on those turret generators as he can. It's understandable, but Phalanx Armor, if you're just going to suicide in, Phalanx Armor makes you harder to kill. Always good. Let's take him down. Come on, die already. There we go. And I was debating going Gamma see if we could chase down that protector but he's probably gone by now yeah teammate jumped in nobody there he's already left so let's go ahead and push alpha really it's so much prettier than it used to be and again just kind of staying here behind cover that protector and hopefully the venture can spot things as i come around this corner for me let me know if i need a cloak it looks like it's empty here. We've got two over in beta, possibly a third. Yeah, I'm going to capture this mine and we're going to pop over to beta and help that lane out. And we're going to take a cheeky shot at the gladiator as we go. Now, this is a time where I am jumping onto that mine. I want to slot in on them as they get in there. Oop, save the watchman, save the watchman. No. Ah. Uh, too slow. End up stealing the kill on top of it. Because I'm a jerk. Yeah, his watchman's death explosion would have taken it out. but So you'll notice I've... Debating chasing the protector to Gamma, it's a little early. We have to control this I think I'm just going to take this forward base here. Once this is capped, I'll go Gamma. Ship down. Kindly remember to avoid combat during jump 
Again, taking that forward jump position. There's the protector. Oh, the hunter's on top of me. There he is. And looks like he's going to be all by himself. I have activated blank. Oh, and the gladiator jumping and scared the crap out of me. Don't see half that volley. Just completely miss everything. And now that hunter's on me. Protector's on me. Taking way more fire than I want to be. Low on energy. I'm just going to try and get behind this rock. Get behind cover. Hopefully that hunter will blink to me. If he does, I can put an ambush into him and he can't dodge it. That can give me an advantage. Uh, are you going to... Maybe... Nope. He's going to save it. There's another good blink by that hunter. Notice he's waiting until... I've got a good shot on him, and he knows I'm about to hit him with an ambush. That hunter does know what he's doing. He's pretty good. However, by a couple of his later issues, I can tell he's just kind of rusty at Hunter, which I understand. I'm rusty ghost. I'm missing shots like that from that protector just a moment ago. So we're going to sit here under this uh, gladiator, where he can only reach one turret at me. I will take the fire for the rest of my team. I have no problem doing that, especially while shielded by our protector. Come on, Hunter. Die already. There we go. There goes the gladiator. And the Reaper. Yep. Reaper's down too. Full clear. I'm gonna get that upgrade. Always nice. We're level seven now. It's a pretty sizable chunk of upgrade. Even though I'm at full health. Yeah, you can stop healing me now. Oh, good, thanks. Can't really blame him. He's just trying to farm support points, get more XP out of his game. I've got a protector there. Hopefully I can stay behind cover like the mine. He can't spot me. Um, he's actually being spotted by our protector. You hear as soon as I blink, he pops jump, gets out of there. Now, I didn't want to nose into this forward base, but lag took over and decided, yep. So maybe we're going to get that hunter to overextend. I want him to blink towards the protector. That'll let me put an ambush volley into him, but it doesn't look like he's going to cooperate. I'm going to move him, put a shot on his nose, and he clips my wing, which gives him enough warning to blink a good chunk of that volley off. And Reaper and the protector, but he's out of range of both. We need to deal with him quickly before he kills the protector, before his teammates show up. Here they come, and he dodges. Come on, finish him off. Somehow he lives. Look at that, no health. <laughs> Figures. All right, we're going to slot in on the Reaper. Coming at him from the bottom, you, you can shroud all you want. Line up for that rear shot. Hold fire till the shroud drops. Come on, die already. That watchman takes him out. Now, here's a neat little trick. I'm going to slot in on the protector. But I'm going to do it by blinking to the gladiator. The protector is lined up with me. But the gladiator will put me just behind him. That gives me an even better positioning than it would if I blinked to the protector. So, protector, my target, gladiators, my blink. Line up that shot. 
Again, no shroud. Their defensive field. Really needs to be popping his cooldowns. It looks like he's just gonna take the death. And the gladiators oop, moving up on our watchmen. Finish capping this real quick. Go to help him. Come on, decoy blink. Oh, watchman's actually doing pretty good. The gladiator isn't at the right altitude to get his full volley on. So he should be doing a lot more damage. At this range, he should easily kill the watchman. But he's not using phalanx. And he's not in his correct firing arc. Pretty much meant that the Watchman was fine. I probably didn't even need to come help. Now hopefully one of those two in their base is going to jump over and open the lane for us. Yep, there's the Pioneer. Still going to move down the lane. You never know when you could get there to reinforce somebody who would otherwise die. Always nice to do. Looks like they're all focusing on the guy in their base. Uh, he's down. And here we go. Here's the hunter. The well, hunter's gonna stay and close that. That's fine. As long as we have Alpha 2, there's no secure base detect, and I'm able to use cloak freely. Go ahead and put an ambush volley into that. Wipe that turret generator out in one hit. And somebody's capturing Alpha 2, so we're actually going to back cap Beta. There's the Hunter. Oh, no, the Reaper. Can I get to him? Nope. Too slow. So I'm opening this up because secure base detect basically means I can't use my biggest defensive ability, my cloak. So that pretty much cripples me. We've got two left in their base still. One's down. Second one's down. That's fine. I'm still going to get to pick off somebody when they jump out. And it's the Reaper. He doesn't even shroud. And again, that was a pretty quick kill. I mean, we can't deride him too much for it. Still, though, when you've got a ghost, you've got to be a quick on those defensive cooldowns people hunter and a protector we need to deal with the protector fortunate dodge that uh detect there and now i'm by myself and i really cannot take this two on one i have to get that protector either instantly or almost instantly hopefully i can catch one of them as they jump come on faster oh. Left it way too late. Then totally jump out way too early. This is a bad idea. I really should have stayed to capture Beta 2. If we win Gamma, we could have gone straight from Gamma to their base despite it only being Gas 2. I really should have linked to him before the ambush. Get a volley in or if nothing else. Force him to blink away first before the ambush volley. He's going to come back. That's a bad idea. There's the Reaper. So I'm going to duck behind this pile on here for cover. Oh, he's disarmed. Oh, no, he's shut down, so he can't even run. I'm going to finish him off. Slot in behind this Reaper. I don't like taking shots at Reapers with Shroud up just because it's so easy to have your shots deflected. We're going to cap this. Oh, we have capped it already. So go defend Alpha. See if I can get somebody else who's jumping out. Uh, nope. Our protector made it in behind us. He's going to focus him. Come up behind the gladiator. Again, perfect time for Phalanx. No Phalanx. Um, being a good distraction. He's going to stay focused at me. So the protector... That's both of his side armor is broken. Staying low, he can shoot that one cannon at me all he wants. And we'll finish it. You need to find someone to patch those holes. 
Now this should actually be the end of the match. I mean, we've got guest three now. Sorry, not two, guest three. They've got one guy dead still. The hunter blinks, so he can't dodge the ambush volley. Takes a good chunk of his health. Yeah, I'm disarmed. That just means I'm gonna wait for the next ambush. Which I totally miss. Yeah, again, mediocre gameplay. See if I can put a shot at him from range. Eh, some damage. Three grand's not bad. Line up on his nose. Nope. He's got Shroud up. Coming in from above where I've got a better angle. Still didn't hit him very hard. Now it's down. It's gonna rip him apart. We're at 70% capture. This game's over. Protector. Yep, and there's the match. Again, mediocre gameplay. Still pulled down 21-0. That hunter did a phenomenal job using his blink to dodge ambushes, but the rest of the team really need to be focusing on using their defensive cooldowns. In particular, the Protector and the Reaper need to be using defensive field and shroud as soon as they hear an ambush. The Protector, in fact, doesn't even have to wait. Defensive field has such a long cooldown, there's no reason to not pop it the moment they blink to you. So, hopefully this video has given you a good insight into the workings of the Ghost, and either how to improve yourself as a Ghost player, or how to deal with Ghosts yourself. If you've got any questions, feel free to ask me in the video. I'll see if I can get some better answers for you. Until then, have a good one.